You'll notice that Greg Doucette has come up a few times already for anybody who's been paying attention to my channel as of late. The reason for Greg Doucette being the center of attention in a few of my videos as of late is because of his inability to accept the simple truth that he does in fact support animal abuse and he is unwilling to accept this simple truth by lying to himself and his audience. Pretty much playing the role of a snowflake and painting himself as a victim as he thinks he special because he takes care of animals in his house so that now magically gives him some type of personal justification to lie about his actions towards supporting unnecessary animal abuse through his diet and business ventures. There have been a few vegan content creators to include myself who have covered Greg Doucette's inability to accept this simple reality, but for a while now, Greg Doucette has been receiving quite a bit of flack from people within the fitness community as well too. In particular, this one content creator, Jeffrey Schofield, who I've already talked about in a previous video in regards to his failed attempt to debunk or delegitimize the Game Changers documentary. Link is up above and I strongly recommend you watch the video if you're interested in the topic of nutrition science and how bro science is running rampant with even some of the most honest fitness YouTubers like Jeffrey Schofield. Now, Jeffrey Schofield has recently released a video about Greg Doucette's selling tactics and how he is now using a type of overpriced mass marketing technique and business model that seems to be similar to certain fitness influencer dummies like V-Shred. I don't think there's anything wrong with calling out the bullshit as Jeffrey is doing with Greg Doucette in regards to selling overpriced training and nutrition programs as long as you can provide evidence to support what you're saying, which Jeffrey does do which I commend him for doing. The issue becomes apparent when the topic of diet comes up, specifically fat intake. This is what I mean. Actually, in the past two days, two different people have contacted me saying that they actually did not feel great on his diet because the fat was very, very low. So apparently Greg Doucette's diet incorporates foods that are low in fat and it is causing some people to feel like shit. And according to Jeffrey, there is a reason as to why Greg Doucette is able to eat such a low fat diet as he explains here. If you're an enhanced lifter, you don't need as much fat in your diet because you don't need to produce testosterone with your balls because you're injecting it in your ass. So it's because Greg Doucette is injecting testosterone into his body, specifically in his ass, as Jeffrey so eloquently put it, which is allowing Greg to eat such a low fat diet. According to Jeffrey, naturals need to have a higher fat diet compared to that of enhanced lifters because that is what is going to optimize a man's hormones, hormone levels naturally. If this is the case, then I would love to know where is the science to support these statements because it looks like Jeffrey's only going off of anecdotal Reddit comments rather than actual science. And I knew what this guy was saying. He said, that sucks, man, mainly because the advice he gives about fat can be dangerous. And I knew what he was saying, but I had to ask. I said, in what way specifically? It happened to me that while doing some of his recipes and his advice that tracking macros was not worth it, I was eating 30 to 40 grams of fat a day. So I didn't know. So I was feeling like, like shit and I didn't know why. And yeah, that's super low. 30 to 40 grams is not going to be optimal for hormone levels. Really? So what is the amount of fat someone should be consuming to maintain optimal hormone levels, Jeffrey? What science do you have to support these statements? Because again, it looks like Jeffrey's just going off of bro science again. So I decided to be uh, a little bit basic today, make some French toast for breakfast. So I have some whole eggs in here, because breaking news guys, you can make French toast with whole eggs. It doesn't have to be egg whites. I like a little bit of fats in my French toast. So, so even his own son, his own flesh and blood, realizes that if you are natural, you cannot diet the same way as someone on gear. It looks like Jeffrey is completely misrepresenting that one clip from Will Tennyson in an attempt to paint a picture that even Will understands that naturals will need to eat more fat than what is suggested by Greg Doucette. I don't know what video Jeffrey got that clip from, but Will does not say that in that clip of this video. How do we know Will didn't add the whole egg for extra flavor, extra calories. Will Tennyson doesn't specify, so therefore Jeffrey's just painting a false narrative to fit his own narrative, that consuming more fat if you're a natural is essential for optimal hormonal production. Also, if Jeffrey knew anything about essential fat consumption, then he would know the main type of fat that is found in egg yolks is saturated fat, and saturated fat is not essential, and it doesn't improve hormonal or hormone levels, especially the type of hormones Jeffrey's talking about 
testosterone. Although there hasn't been a massive amount of research on the topic, we know from this study that meals high in saturated fat produce an average of a 30% postprandial reduction in testosterone levels within one hour of their ingestion. And there was another study that showed chronic fat intake decreased testosterone. To be fair, the fat intake given to the subjects of the study was very high, representing about 86% of the calories, but this still doesn't vindicate the statements made by Jeffrey. The minimum intake of essential fatty acids to prevent deficiencies is about 2.5 or 2.5% of daily caloric intake for omega-6 fats and a half percent of intake for omega-3 fats. The World Health Organization recommends that five to eight percent of calories be consumed from omega-6 and one to two percent of calories come from omega-3 fats. If you want to optimize your conversion rate of omega-3 fatty acids to long chain fatty acids, DHA and EPA, then you should keep your omega-6 to omega-3 ratio at about four to one or even less. So this begs to question, why were those people on Reddit able to fix their low energy levels with adding more fat to their diet? And the answer is, how the hell should I know? There's so many factors that can play into why those Reddit people had low energy to begin with and to assume it, to assume it has to automatically do with low testosterone levels is just logically assumptuous at best. Did those people post their blood work on the Reddit post? Did Jeffrey see what those people were eating every day? Did Jeffrey see how much rest they were getting every single day? Did he see if they were overweight? I mean, how old are they? I'm, are they stressed? I mean, how do you know these people commenting or telling the truth to even start with? I mean, there's just so many questions they are not being answered or they're simply being assumed, which is just unsubstantial evidence. But since anecdotal evidence seems to be sufficient for Jeffrey Schofield, I'll show you what I ate in a day, which is typical to how I eat on a regular basis to maintain my high energy levels. So here are my calories for a day back in April 22nd. I ate about 2,800 calories and about 34 grams of fat for the day, which equates to about 11% of my calories coming from fat. And I feel absolutely fantastic. The majority of my fat consumption is from my first meal, which is derived from half of an avocado and 13 grams of flaxseed in my extra super anabolic hyper protein shake. The rest of the food I do eat in the day is typically very low in fat, not because Greg Doucette says so, or anyone for that matter, but because it is not necessary to consume these higher amounts of fat for unsubstantiated reasons premised on the belief of heightening testosterone levels. I mean, just look at me. Do I look like I'm suffering from low energy or low testosterone levels eating this low amount of fat? I'm 34 years old and here I am benching 262 pounds for five sets of five at an RPE of about eight and a half. And here I'm benching 225 pounds for 13 reps. I've got all kinds of other footage, but I'm not here to turn this into a pissing contest or defend Greg Doucette at all, as I think he's just a mediocre training coach and just an outright giant man child who just goes along with the societal norms in an attempt to vindicate his own hypocrisy and stupidity and to sell more bullshit. I'm just here to let Jeffrey Schofield and everyone else know that bro science is not actual science. Just because you think something or heard something from somewhere, it doesn't mean it's true. The statements Jeffrey said about fat consumption and testosterone production are not accurate. And further yet, he did not show any type of evidence to support his statements. To conclude this video, I just want to add that I do not dislike Jeffrey Schofield. I appreciate the guy tremendously with respect to the topic of fitness. He's very honest and a very hardworking young man. Unfortunately, his knowledge on nutrition is lacking and that's being kind. I also wanted to add that right before I started recording this video, Jeffrey received a strike on his channel because he was reported by uh, Greg Doucette for some of the images she showed on his video in regards to a Greg Doucette training program that was sent to Jeffrey Schofield from a former client of Greg Doucette who wasn't too happy with the program. I must say that this is really fucked up and it is becoming very clear the type of person Greg Doucette is. A slime ball, a little slime ball who's simply chasing as much money as possible by using selling tactics that are actually very similar to that of V-Shred. And that's where I agree with Jeffrey Schofield. Look, Jeffrey, if, if you do get a chance to watch this, just know that I don't have any issues with some of the bullshit you exposed from Greg Doucette. I just think you're off with the topic of fat consumption and even some topics of nutrition. And I'd be more than willing to hash this out with you on a public or private forum. My email's down below 
or you can just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. For everyone else watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you think in the comment sections down below. As you know, I love to engage with all of you. Please know that I appreciate every single one of you. That being said, feel free to do any of the three things you see behind me if you haven't already. I'm The Natural Hoaxer. I wanna thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for the next one.